Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first video post Sunday. Terrible Formula One race, and uh, yeah, I guess the the soccer game as well was pretty pretty bad as well. The but soccer. we've got a. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like soccer camps. Yeah. But do, do you know why, mate? We've gone for a tactic because I, instead of the people commenting about the football match, they'll be like, soccer? Why is he calling it a soccer? So instead, it's like sub, like a, a subconscious effect of people saying, yo, why is he saying soccer? So they're going to put that in the comments rather than talking about Man United. Do you want know what I'm going to put in the comments? And I want everyone else to put in the comments. Here we go. Go on. War upgrade. <laughs> Oh dear, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a very painful few days post the uh, post the game at Anfield, and uh, welcome to Scott Buda Showdown, where we're doing a lovely showdown on Vout Veghorst. Um, I know you're doing well, Andy. Uh, you've you've enjoyed the last 24 hours of absolutely rinsing me, Ginge, probably a fair few other Man United uh, fans out there as well. Just all the ones, um, to be honest with you. And then, oh, why are you bothered about? Why are you so happy that Liverpool won? It's just funny, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's just funny. It's just, it's just football fans, isn't it? It's it's just banter. You would you expect it off any fan base, except for Chelsea fans. Uh, I don't know why you lot are trying to take the mick, because uh, you lot are 10th closer to relegation than you are a scrap in anything else. <laughs> now that we've got that out of the way, um, how you doing, Andy? And what do you think of this about Vegas, mate? <laughs> Two W's in his name, and he took the hugest L of all time. Oh, yeah. However, <laughs> yep. four star, four star, six foot six, Nice. He's actually got nice balance and agility for a man who's six foot six. I'm gonna. I'm intrigued to see how his body type affects how he runs with the ball, because often that's more important than the stats, which is kind of annoying. So very who's true. Six foot six with seventy of balance is not the same as someone who's five foot six with seventy balance. True. It's However, ninety seven strength, ninety jump, and I'm basically just reading the stats out to this point, Kev. So I'm gonna shut up and let you talk. He's unbelievable, mate. I'm, I'm assuming it? you haven't used him yet. Nope. I've used him against James, and he is absolutely unreal. It's like doing the body that he's got a good. <laughs> are, you, are you trying? To, are you calling James that bad? I mean, that's a, that's a little bit toxic. That James will take offence to that. But <laughs> he's. I, I can say from uh, experience already, mate. He's very good. Nice. He might not be as good in real life. Um, I think he gets slandered in real life, you know. I think I also reminiscent well. of when France won the World Cup and Giroud didn't have a shot on target. I think that's what oh, Vegas wow. is doing for United. In the same way as Giroud enabled Mbappe to score. And I'm not saying that. I mean, United fans are currently saying that Rashford is Mbappe. I'm not sure I quite get that far. But Vegas enables Rashford to score, doesn't he? The team wouldn't be the same yeah. without him. Even if he's, he might be the striker and he's not scoring, that doesn't mean he's not doing a job. Yeah, absolutely. In, in terms of, like, the way that Tenarg wants us to play as well... Seven Arg, mate. He's... Uh, uh, I'll let you get away with that one for now. He's very, very good at pressing, and, you again, you're very, very right in saying he does allow Rashford to be a lot freer when he does play on the left, or even when Vegas has played in the 10, which, again, just seems really, really weird. But in a couple of games, it has worked. Against Barcelona, it was really good. So... I don't know whether he'll survive past his six months with us because it does look like we're going to go for the likes of Victor Oshiman or Harry Kane. Harry Kane! Or something like that. Those are the ones that we're looking like we may go for. But whether he survives, I don't know. But he has been a very, very useful asset in the time that he's been with us, I have to say. You know, he's been doing good this season, to be fair. Yeah. We've had a, we've, like, we, have, we have had a couple of games where we have been absolutely battered, right? The, first, like, the, the, the Brentford game start of the season, City and then Liverpool. Those three games are like anomalies, but other than that, we've been a lot, a, looking a lot like our former selves, really. And I don't think we've, well, we've especially not been able to say that for a very, very long time, let alone you, uh, you toffees over there. Well, it depends what you mean by former selves, so haven't really, innit? Yeah, just in consistently, the 80s, just consistently like the best always team in the good. world. But I wasn't alive then. So <laughs> I, I don't really know. Whenever I've been alive, yeah. the best we've been able to do is scrap for europe just about that's what you'd expect of everton though just an old traditional premier league team that's always been there that's always good dodgy to go to always when you go to goodison park as well yeah everton were on the wrong side of the premier league era let's say it came at the wrong time i'd agree with that to be fair so everton had the best team in the world at one point basically and should have won the 
European Cup and everything. And all English teams got banned from Europe and all of our good players left to go. Like, for example, we had Gary Lineker played for Everton for one season and then we were in Europe, so he went to Barcelona. There's loads of them like that. Mad, and then a little bit later, in comes all the TV money for the Premier League and Everton just get left in the dust because all the good players have left and it was United and Arsenal and Liverpool that kicked them. Yeah. So, so uh, very, un very, very unfortunate more than it, anything else, isn't it? The world could be so much different. It's like the butterfly effect, isn't it? Just one little different thing. I could be sitting here laughing about 14 Premier League titles for Everton, whereas in fact, we might be winning the championship next season. Yes, I mean, a trophy may be coming your way next year in... If you don't come straight back up with the quality of players that you've got, I would be very, very, very surprised. But I, I don't. Do you really think? Do you, do you reckon you'll go down, mate? No. I, I also don't think so as well. Who do you reckon is your three to go down then? See, I, I don't. It's hard because I don't. I don't like doing predictions because you are kind of just making it up. I yeah. don't know enough about other teams to be able to say why they would go down. Fair. But I think I've seen enough of Everton. To know that if we keep performing the way that we are, that's not the performances of a relegation side. Results notwithstanding. The difference Fair. between Daisha's Everton and Lampard's Everton is crazy. I think we talked about it in my video, didn't we? The expected goal we did. stat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild. So you are playing a lot better. Playing so good. If Calvert Lewin comes back, easily stay up. If Calvert Lewin doesn't and doesn't put together a good run of not being injured, might be a bit of a struggle. Bit more dicey. However, I am looking at the table now. We are five points behind 12th. It's kind of it, wild, isn't that, it? That that's that how many people could yeah. get relegated. Exactly. That that's how close it is. And I think from from my POV, I think you'll stay up. The three teams that I think will go down, I think Bournemouth and Southampton are pretty much unfortunately they're done and dusted. Will I you think, say that? For me. But Bournemouth the they... are last, and they're only six points behind 12th. Jeez, that's how close it is, isn't it? Yeah, and Southampton wow. are six points behind 12. Everton are five points. Leeds are five. West Ham are four. Leicester, three. Forest, two. Wolves, one. And in 12th is Palace. Any of them teams could get relegated. That's immense. Yeah, any any of them just go on a, like a, a really bad few games, then that's it. They're right in the thick of it. It's crazy, though, isn't it? It is. But that's that's what makes the Prem so exciting at the same time as well. Like, there's a, a scrap at the top at the minute where somehow Arsenal are going to bloody win the league at this point. And the the battle for sort of who's going to get fourth place probably at this point. And then the scrap from relegation from 12th till 20th. It's it's crazy, mate. Absolutely scary. Crazy. Is it what is. Scary it is. Tell you what else is scary, it. mate, is you trying to discard this uh, Vegos showdown card because I really like him. I don't particularly want to lose him today. Um, so I think, mate, should we get into some formations and what would you like today? I'm going to play Kerbs. 4-3-3. You adding a bit onto that or is nope. it just the flat? Just 4-3-3, mate. Fair. I've got the the first two bits right, but I wrote down 4-3-2-1. Lovely. So I see that you're... You're, you're very much enjoying the 4-3-3, aren't Sticking you? Sticking with what worked, mate, yeah. <laughs> and that terrifies me ever so slightly. Brilliant. Okay, well, um, in that case, mate, can I have the 4 triple 2 please? Oh, you can. I didn't know if it was like 4 4 2 or 4 triple 2 I don't like playing against either of them. And Ginge mm. did a number on me using 4 4 2 so I went for that. Interesting. Well, that's the funny thing. So you've gone for your one of your strong formations as of late in the 4-3-3. I've gone for my strongest formation in the 4 triple 2 Nice. So... This is going to be very, very interesting. Ladies and gents, time to go get into Veghorst's squad by the showdown. Time to go get my striker and two cams and Andy's left wing and right wing. Into the forwards we go. Andy, as you are the guest, my friend, I'm going to let you choose your players first today. All right. What I was like? tempted to go all English because I've just gone and got a blue passport because Brexit means Brexit. Brexit means Brexit. Oh, I got a blue passport. Yes, blue. Please tell yeah, me you yeah, know that yeah, meme. Yeah. Do you know that meme? No, 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 no. Oh, you don't know where, where Boris just, I you is. Just been a posh man. Oh, fuming! No, it's, it's hilarious. Where where Boris comes across, he's like, "Oh, you've got to a blue passport." Blue. Yeah, where he puts a lot of emphasis on the blue. Blue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm fuming now. That would have been no, oh, not a clue. Mind. And also, this yeah. Harvey Elliott got an upgrade, and can play left wing or right wing. 
<laughs> that seems a little bit bait, though, so I'm not going to do that, Kebs. Oh. What okay. I'm going to go and do is pick Memphis Depay. His fantasy foot grade. Very nice card, mate. If I do and say so myself. I'll have 88 rated in form. Must be kind of new, unless I've just really not been paying attention. Barcelona Rafinha. He looks quite good as well. He's got a little star over him. 95 pace. Do love pace. Fair, mate. Um, I wrote down Phil Foden and Anthony Langer. Lovely. Both players can play right wing and left wing, so covers both bases at the very least. Very nice. But fair enough. No, you can have both of them, mate. You've got a bit, got a bit of Barca. Not too bad. For myself, I want a Dutch icon, mate. Oh, it's, gone, it's all gone quite quiet over there. Uh, so we're going to join oh, a uh, a current Manchester quiet. United striker <laughs> with an old one. We're going to go RVP, who's hopefully going to be my MVP today. Well, you've got a few former Dutch strikers that are icons. Actually, I thought you were going to say Ru van Nistel right then. It's Van Persie, isn't uh, that? Yeah, indeed. Big rude. Nice. On the right camp, we're going to go for Berghaus. Nice. Left Proper camp. Start, lad. Exactly, mate. At left camp, we're going to go for his Ajax teammate. In a, a man that's actually linked with Man United, it's uh, Mohamed Kudus. Is what card is this? A Foot Future Stars card. Oh, mate. You've meant to sign for Everton, and we got snaked because you bought Anthony. Indeed. And now it looks like we want to sign him as well. So Anthony's terrible. Yep. Uh, okay, behave. All right, behave. I like Anthony. Okay, my fidget spinner. However, you've gone very quiet, and I don't know if that means you're happy that you've guessed someone. I put Jaden Sancho. Yeah. Ben Rama. Yeah. And CR7 nil. <laughs> you literally wrote him down just to make the joke as well. Yeah, didn't you? basically yeah, wasted the guess. Yeah. Like, Fantastic. Funny yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to be fair, I'll take that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, you got away with your forwards. I've got away with mine. I've got two midfielders. You've got three. Let's go get into it. Into the midfielders we go. Both of us getting away with our forwards thus far. Andy, I'm hoping to get away with my midfield too here. Intrigued as to what you're doing, Mr. Kebs. Ah, okay. Well, hopefully I can get away with it. In left CDM, I'm going to go for a man that has been very, very good in the Premier League this season. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have a special card yet, and I'm quite surprised, actually. It would be... Probably have a very, very nice special card at this point. But the first one that I want is Thomas Party. Ah, oh, so lame, Kebs. Go on. Yeah. yeah it is a little bit. Fully... Baited. <laughs> so obvious, but so stinky that I didn't write it. Okay, fine. And the next one is so obvious that I'm hoping you haven't written it down. It's um, Moments, Donny van der Beek. You're winding me up. <laughs> How have you just got away with that? I don't know, mate. I don't know. I'm assuming your uh, your Twitch chat was probably screaming at you to put van der Beek well, down saying, as oh, well. Put party, put party, put party. No, he's terrible. He doesn't have a special card. It's so bait with the Ghanaian link. I put Timber and Bazoa, I'm going to call him. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, Bazoa. I thought you were going to Bazoa, take Bazoa. the, yeah. the route the of just getting route. loads of Eredivisie players, take a Kudus onto Kem and bait me. Mm. But no, he's got incredibly obvious. I have. I've got away with it. Lovely stuff. Interesting, Brilliant. mate. Maybe you should have listened to your Twitch chat after all. And never. what, what would you like in midfield? Never and made. I've listened to my Twitch chat for one of these guesses. We're so like thousands of them in there and one of them gets it right. <laughs> oh, I told you so. Well, yes. And you've 999 if you've got it wrong. <laughs> we absolutely love to see it. And if you want to see us live on Twitch, make sure to go follow me and Andy both on Twitch. We are both streaming it right now. Not when you watch this video, but you know what I mean. Might be. What would you like, Andy? That's true, actually. Maybe. I'm hopefully not going to have discarded this card. Let's see. Drum roll, please. Yes, wants to watch Kessie. That is a star of FIFA throwback. And then. Colo, 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 Torre. Ya, 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 Torre. Have ya, ya, Torre, please, Kev, if you haven't gathered. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm going to have Sean DePaul. Oh, it was girls. almost a triple. What do you mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get carried away now, Kebs. 
<sighs> I almost did get carried away, mate, because that would have been an absolutely banging tasty triple. What's, what's it called? Tasty triple? It's called lies is what it is, mate. There's no way you wrote Kessie, Yoyo, Tori, or DePaul. I mean, you might have written DePaul, to be fair. It's quite funny, to be fair. Uh, I've been listening to my Twitch chat, but I didn't listen to them when they said to write down Kessie or Yaya Toro. I instead went for Dirk Count and De Jong. And Fred. Nice! I'm actually fuming because a lot of people in my chat were literally saying he's going to go Yaya and Kessie. I'm so nice. sad right now. Ah, oh, mate. Can you believe Both... Colo... Not Colo, sorry. Yaya Toro is only a hero. I, I, you know what? I agree. I think he should be more than that. I, I think feel he like be Colo icon. could be a hero, but Yaya should be an icon. Yeah. If you put in Didier Drogba in an icon form, I think Yaya Toro should be as well. Isn't he the midfielder with the most goals in one Premier League season? Obviously not calling Lampard ever, but the actual most goals from like in midfield a in the... In a, yeah, in a single season in the Premier League, it is Yaya Toure, right? Crackers. I don't know. I'm going to agree with you and say yes. I think that is the case. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right because I swear he scored an absolutely unholy amount of goals in 2014 or 2015, I think it was. Also, Where, here's another one. one. Sorry, go I've on. just completely interrupted you because I'm flicking through the heroes and looking. I swear <laughs> right. Papan won the Ballon d'Or. He did. Is that right? Is it him? It is, yeah. Why is he a hero? He won the freaking Ballon d'Or, Kibbs! Exactly. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer scored the last last minute goal to win the Champions League. Right. That's just iconic status just from that alone. That's hero. Come on. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's a hero. Let's not get he's, silly. He's an icon in my heart, mate. All right. But... Dear, dear, dear. Because Nikata got downgraded, didn't he? And yeah. JJ Kocha got downgraded. Was it, wasn't there a couple, actually? Yaya needs upgrading. I agree. He, he should... Well, I guess his, his World Cup hero in terms of stats are really nice, but in terms of rating, it probably could be a bit higher. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah, it's funny that he's a hero, but he's one of the best cards on the game. Yeah, it's absolutely mental, isn't it? I'm trying to think other ones as well. Like Di like Diego Forlan. Is he an icon of Uruguayan football? Probably one of the best forwards they've ever had. I bet he Pele, Di Natale, you could probably say as well. I feel like Pele should never be allowed to be an icon sure, sh just purely by the fact that he because named himself after Pele. Pele. <laughs> His name's Abadi Ayu, isn't it? Yes. There's Jordan Ayu's dad. And he's like, sure, I'm going to go called Pele. That's just what he wanted. It's just mental. It Imagine is, I mate. become an F1 driver, and they're like, what do you want to be called? I, like, I don't know. Just call me Andy Schumacher. Andy Schumacher. Well, yeah. It just could... <laughs> it's just stupid, isn't it? Andy Schumacher. It's just stupid. Oh, dear. You know, yeah. I mean, to be fair, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong at all, to be fair, but... We're going to play golf. What, what should we call you on tour? Oh, I don't know. Just call me Tiger Castell. <laughs> <laughs> just stupid. <laughs> Oh, imagine, imagine you're literally the, the, the one golfer after Tiger as well. It's, it's like, so Tiger, silly. Tiger, I Tiger honestly just seen him. Tiger Castell coming up now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that, that's probably the best name you've definitely come up with, what, Tiger what, what, Castell. Like, I don't know. It just seems proper wild to me. Maybe I don't know the full story behind it, and I'm just slandering the poor guy. But when I last yeah, looked true. into it, that's, that's the vibes I got. He was like, people called him Pele because he was really good at football. And then he was like, my name's Andrew Screw it, I'm just going to stick with it. It's like, bro, you're literally a professional footballer. You can't be Pele. He's that's Pele. <laughs> even even if Messi or Ronaldo did it, that's a bit of a push with Pele, isn't it? Lionel yeah, Pele, just, just Cristiano a, Pele. Just a bit wild. Well, Ronaldinho yeah. is named Ronaldinho after Ronaldo. Isn't he? Uh, named after Ronaldo, or well, I guess that's his actual name is Ronaldo, but they've changed his name. As no, well. so Inho was in it? Portuguese means little, doesn't it? So he was called Little Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldinho didn't didn't actually know that. Yeah. So then Ronaldinho Inho is just signed for Barcelona. It's Ronaldinho's son. Uh, yeah. That makes a lot more sense now that you said mm. that as well. Very very interesting. Let us know down in the comment section some of the funny footballer names that you just find absolutely outrageous and. Uh, Wout Weghorst having two W's and he took a huge L. That's not even a real name, Woot Weghorst. You belong on a Harry Potter film. Yeah, let's get on to fullbacks. Andy, it is time to get into the fullbacks, good sir. 
Would you like to know what I want? Go on then. In at right back, I would like a Dutch right back by the name of Gitruida. Nice fine old player. And at left back, I would like to go for a... Oh, I see, I'm a little bit torn. I can go for Tyrell Malassia, but I do have World Cup showdown, big Lukey Shaw. I'm going to go for Luke Shaw, mate. Who plays for United these days? In what position, mate? Left back Kebs, Shaw or Malassia. Well, I mean, they actually alternate, but mostly oh, really? Luke Shaw. Fair. Mostly Luke yeah. Shaw. Okay. Mostly Luke Shaw, yeah. Would you say that Malassia is a long term signer? He's a future star. He is a future star, to be fair. Very, very good player, mate. Fair. Considering his age and his, uh, you know. Don't like where, I really don't like where this is going. I'm annoyed, Kerbs, because I wrote Timber, because he can play left back and right back. And he I can. didn't know if it's right. Timber for left back and right Gertruder. But I don't know what that card is. Like, I'm looking at it on Footbin. He's a storyline um, card. Sorry, no, squad foundations. Yeah, because then there's the other... I don't even know what card. So, yeah, Squad Foundation and Storyline, I guess, is the other one. There's the other type of black card from the Eredivisie, which Kassan Wirajo, or whatever he's called. Oh, uh, Kassan Wiro, yeah. He's also a. Oh, he's a Storyline. So, Kassan Wiro was the season objective. If we get to um, level 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. He would have been a level 15 one. Okay. And. What's uh, Gertrida, or whatever he's called? He's the milestone objective. So he would have been like in the milestones objective areas. He would have had to play like score eight goals with Dutch players and win with eight Dutch players in your starting eleven. That sort of thing. Go outside, Kebs. Side put Malassia. <laughs> yes. Love it. Come on. Okay, mate. Okay. So uh, Timber and Malassia. Love to see it. All right, mate. What would you like? Well, I'm half tempted to change my team up because one of my chat pointed out that I'm building a rainbow squad. Yeah. However, I don't like changing my mind and second-guessing myself and stuff like that. So, where things go wrong, mate. That is where things go wrong. At right back, I'll have Lucas Vazquez, who is a Centurions and is another card type. And that's where I was then going to say, I'll have Malassia. It just seems a bit bait. So instead, I'm going to have Fairpo. Fair enough. He's another in form, but hopefully we can have him. Well, I thought you'd uh, you'd go away from La Liga a little bit because it was a little bit bait. So, I thought, ah, oh, what's a couple of players that are good outside the box and obviously in the Premier League at this point? What would work? So, I thought you might go Emerson Royale because he would then give chemistry to Rafinha. And I also wrote down Lissandro Martinez because, nice. again, he would have given DePaul full chemistry and then everybody would have been on full chem so you could do whatever you wanted in uh, your centre-backs and goalkeeper. Smart. You're a clever but unfortunately, man, Thanks, mate. But not clever enough to think not that you Not clever you'd... enough? Yeah, unfortunately not. So you can have your full-backs and uh, centre-backs and goalkeeper to it's go, It's a poor mate. showing from us, this. Yeah, it is. Normally, normally, like, we have at least two players guessed, but maybe it's all to play for when we go into the set the backs and the goalkeeper, mate. Hopefully, it goes in my favour, because, you know, over the last few days, not so much. Andy, it is time to get in to the centre backs and the goalkeepers, mate. Very nervy time. What would you like? I initially wanted my. Red foot chumps inform Luke Shaw. However, he is very, very behind the power curve because it's mine and it's red, which I haven't played foot chumps for months. So instead, I'll just go for new inform Luke Shaw, the 87 one. Good. Next Good to start. him, I'm going to have, wait for it, wait for it, inform. Bit stinky this, but I don't want to get. I don't want to get a full team or not get a full team by losing a centre back. Informer Kanji. Got a lot of informs in, in March. I was filming Kev's. with FG. Oh, a lot dear. of informs in March. However, SBCs and Yoyo Torres so that I don't want to lose. So I want a full squad. Ederson. Very interesting, mate. No, Kebs. Don't say that. Well, I'm going to give you some information, Andy. I... The only information I... I would like is that I can have all of them. <laughs> I've written down. Other than that, a, a Manchester United player. You're breaking up, Kebs. 
<laughs> well, I'll tell you, mate. Yeah, I have written down a Manchester United player. I've written down a Manchester City player. What is going on? And I've written down a Liverpool player. So, Van Dijk was one of the ones that I wrote down, mate. I didn't know a word that you've just said, Kerbs. Apparently, my headset has a button on the side. Like, on the... On the oh, ear bit. I didn't on the actual headset? Yeah, yeah. I pressed oh. it and my headset went off. Oh. Welcome back. So, well, you learn something new every day. Well, I was just telling everybody... Well, I can't well, take my players out because listening. I don't know who you wrote down. It wasn't mine. That's fine. Well, I was just trying to say, mate, I've written down a Man United player. I've also written down a Manchester City player and I've written down a Liverpool player, but that Liverpool player being Van Dyke. So, you got away with that one at the very least, mate. However, I wrote down Laporte and David De Gea so you can get away with it. Come on, stinky squads. Let's go. So, fortunately for you, mate, you get away with it. But one thing, mate, I was going to ask you before we went into uh, the fullbacks, actually. As you know, you've been bullying me quite a lot for, uh, you know, dropping seven to the to the poor side of uh, the Premier League. Yeah. And um, what is... So, you know that like when Everton have also had a bad day at the office, what yeah. is an Andy go-to terrible takeaway that it's one of those, like, you're down bad... You don't care what you're going to eat. What's your go-to, mate? I'm, wait, you're asking me what I would order? It, uh, yeah. As a... I'm not a... Comfort eater. Fair. So, no. I mean, I had a dominant so, so you, I was going to say, mate, have you never been in that situation where Everton have played awfully and you're just in a bit of a bad mood, you can't be bothered to cook anything, and you're just like, oh, you know what? I'm having this tonight. I don't care. We go again tomorrow. I mean, that's never more due to laziness and being tired rather than because Everton have lost. Pretty used to that now, <laughs> to be honest with you. Fair, okay. Well, in that instance, then, what is your go-to takeaway? Well, I don't know what for. for my cheat day. So, if I... I'm going to judge you heavily for this. What pizza do you go for? Pepperoni Passion, Italian style. Oh, and magnifico. A barbecue base one, which varies, depending on how I'm feeling. I think last time it was the meat fielder, Italian style, turned into barbecue sauce. Okay. My you know, I, I can, I got can a thing at the moment where if I do well by following my diet, eating healthy, and yeah. follow my gym plan, each weekend I can have a cheat day. So this weekend we had Domino's. Fair enough, mate. All right. Big fan of One Indian. major good. Oh, I just like quite a like burgers as well, but homemade ones is a good cheat day too. Fair enough. As long as you season them quite well, you can have a very, very nice burger. One question, though. My on. Italian heritage is screaming at you for one current answer. Does pineapple belong on pizza, Andy? If you like pineapple on pizza, I guess. It... Andy, how long have we been friends for now, mate? Like, what, four or five years? It's one of them things, though, isn't it? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, this is what I've come to realise, right? This is a bit philosophical. Yeah. You'll be a lot happier when you realise that 99.9% .9 of your problems, it just doesn't matter. That, the True. thing that made me realise this was Everton. I had one of them dodgy Amazon sticks to watch all the games because you can't watch them at 3pm in the UK. Or watching a dodgy stream before I got one of them. Or whatever. You sit on the couch, you watch Everton, they lose, your weekend's ruined, and it's only Saturday at half four. Do you know what, Kebs? What's that, mate? Doesn't matter. Just don't but watch it. But it does, Andy. It doesn't it matter. It does matter. <laughs> it doesn't. I care Just about go it and do too some, much, go mate. All right. <laughs> go to the gym. Play golf. Play footy yourself. Watch a different footy match. Watch the I F1. do. And it ends up in City battering like Crystal Palace or something. And then I'm like, oh, brilliant. They've won. My life has been so much better since I've realised. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. It's like it's people easy ask me stuff all the time though, on mate, Twitch. Right. And people put people always come in my chat and say, Danny Aaron's just packed this, or Bateson just packed this. And I feel somewhat not contractually, obli contractually obliged, but I feel like <laughs> you should, when you're on Twitch, be like, wow, oh my God, that's so amazing. Well done, Bateson. Well done, Danny. Thanks for telling me. I don't give a <laughs> shit. Like, I'll be honest with you, I don't care. Yeah, I, I, My I life's do been get a lot happier since from. I realised that, Kerbs. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Do I care what that Danny Aaron's packed Marcus Lente? No. No. Nor Maybe asked, you're mate, just you a know? better part in your life. And mate. I'm just a lot happier for it now because I just, just. Most things don't matter, <laughs> you know? Just don't take everything so seriously. Just go for a walk. 
Yeah. I, I do get where you're coming from, mate. I'm, I'm still at a stage in my life where football either makes or ruins my day. Yeah. And then, then we go to sleep. We have some, we have some terrible food, and then we wake up and we go again the day after that. Yeah. Maybe that's, maybe that's just where I am. It's just I my, don't my know. new perspective, Kebs, and I'm a lot happier. I respect for it. I like it, mate. I, I don't think I'm at a point in my life to be like, you know what? Nothing will affect me, me and my brain, because it, 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 it just bit, does. But only things that I have control of. So otherwise, what's the point yeah. of being? What's the point of getting hung up on it? I get what you mean, mate. Like, I can be annoyed at myself for not going to the gym. Or I can be annoyed at myself for not recording a video, or for being lazy or sleeping in or whatever. But what's the point of being annoyed that Everton lost? I can't control that. I don't play for Everton. I don't care. True. It's just a passion. That's, that's my new thing, yeah. I'm pretty I respect it. Going pretty well. I respect it. And, uh, well, I'll also tell you what I want in my team before tell you we I can control that. Ramble. When I'm the Everton manager, Cabal to win best starter scoring goals or he's getting sold. Anyway. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Well, um, I'll complete my team. Uh, right centre back. I would like a new showdown card, please. Um, and I'll go for John Stones. If that's, At least uh, if that's okay. Of Manchester going upgrade to showdown card, I guess, eh, Curbs? Yeah, I want to change my pick now, please. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I'm going to need you to, to say a line for me, Andy, for my second centre back. So if okay. I said to you, oh, Chris Smalling. Who would, I, who would I have after that? See ya, I'm Phil Jones. Chris Smalling. Chris Smalling. Exactly, mate. We love it. Jones and, and Stones? Exactly. And to complete the trifecta, I was going to go for Nick Pope, but I don't want you to make another joke about uh, another showdown getting an upgrade. We're going to go for my red Aaron Ramsdale. That's really sad because I did actually put Pope. <laughs> did you only not pick him because I made that John Stones joke? Were you going to pick Literally, him? Literally. I was really? going to pick him. Yeah, I, I, I changed my mind last second. Oh, I've shot myself in the foot. You have, mate. That, that's literally your own fault. That's it. I literally would have been able to go, Oh, baby, a triple! Sorry? And that was my triple collateral on free-for-all. But no, it's just the dirty double caps. I put Jones, Stones, Pope. What? <laughs> no, surely not. What a video that is, by the way. That kid must be like 25 now. True. Ooh, baby, a triple. Are you actually... <laughs> but it was... Haven't... Ooh, baby, a double. And that was my double collateral on Squad Builder Showdown. I'm, act I'm, I'm in disbelief. Well, 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 Mr. Kebs. Do I have the man for you? You can have Sven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for God's sake, not again. <laughs> not again. Sven okay. Jansen, mate. Yeah, I've got him. Who else? Now I need to give you a centre-back tonight. Let's see if the song called Nil. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so sad. I'm Here you go. So you can have Sven Neil. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. There's not a chance there is a guy called Sven Neil. No, you've I, I Sven's refuse the goalie to believe. And this guy's Neil. <laughs> what was the score? It was Sven Neil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here Sven anymore. Neil. You got to be GM for that one. Um, so I was who, sailing. Out of my which boat. Neil am I having as well, coast. mate? What rating he's is got, he? He's 50 rated. He plays for LA Galaxy. He's a centre-back. Okay, well, he's that bad. He doesn't even show up on there. N -E -A -L Brilliant. N-E-A-L is how you spell it. Oh, it was in... Oh. Yeah. Not N-E-I-L. No, it's Brilliant. a surname. But yeah, I was sailing off the coast of Germany, Kebs. You have to be. You have to have a German accent for that joke. Sven Neil. Yeah. yeah. And the boat started taking on water. <sighs> Jesus. So we called the coast guard and we were like, "We're sinking! We're sinking! Please help! We're sinking!" And he was like, "What are you sinking about?" <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a really good accent as well. <laughs> Oh, it's made me smile in a moment where I'm literally just. Oh. I, 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 I don't even. I, I need some copium. 
I, I, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hello, little dipper. Even little dipper can't make me happy right now. Look at him. Hello. Hello. <sighs> I'm sad. Well, ladies and gents, should we uh, should we get into a game while Andy has some fun with Dipper and I I'm crying about my team? Ah, oh, nah, so do I, unfortunately, mate. Well, Vegas and RVP, they're gonna have to carry. Let's get into a game. Hello. Ah. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm actually in the bin in this game. Uh, I, I, how have you managed to get both my centre halves? Can't believe I talked you out of going for. Nick Pope as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny actually, because I would I genuinely would have had tears in my eyes. That would have been my triple collateral on squad builder showdown. Oh, I bet there's not been many of okay. those. Oh god. Hell is this? he just Rabona tackled me? Well then Vegost! Alright, mate! Big Val Vegost in the lead, baby! Come on! Can't cope with the runners, Kebs. Hey, who even needs centre backs, mate? Come on! I mean, I've got centre-backs. They don't do anything, so centre-backs are useless, it seems. <laughs> True. Oh! I'm not happy so far, Kebs. Oh, my what? God. He's Why is he not? It. Oh, Why dear. is he taking such a dodgy touch? Oh, that, no, Kebs, no, 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 no. No, Neil! Why what does he take so long to shoot? Oh, oh you're joking Ramsdale, me! Double save! Yeah, who even needs Nick Pope, mate? Ramsdale clear. Poor oh, Neil. Great ball. Vegost! Oh, it should be two. It should be two. Oh, it should be three, mate. I'm here, mate. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Right. <laughs> I don't know, I'm but sick of this I'll, I'll take it. Where it goes. Get your either. Oh, he's red timed it. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine red timing, Andy. Couldn't believe it, mate. Nice. Go on, Veg Vegost. I told the kanji to header it. Oh my god, thank oh god for that. Oh my god, Edison, please, please, mate, I need this two goal cushion. I'm not going to stay they in this game forever. Two goal leads, Adin, something like that. I nearly say curbs, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> it's just too RVP! many runners. It's just too it's many runners. Two! I can't cope. Come on, let's go. I'm I can't with go. Nine men. <laughs> Come on! This Vegas is so Thomas terrible. Party. By the way, I told him to turn around and pass it, and he's just like, "I'm gonna fall over my own legs." Oh my god! How many times have I got? Oh my god! It's me! It's three! It's three! He switched to him. He was stood right next to him. <laughs> We're in dreamland in Andy Stadium, boys. Come on! This is for the believers out there. You don't Mate, need to. I pressed L1 about 16 times and Vasquez has <laughs> just stood there. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, mate. I'll take it. Oh lord. This is terrible. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh god. No, no, send the max, please. Ramsdale, you are unbelievable, son. He's so, so bad. We should have done this video on someone like, I don't know, goals, Calvert Lewin. He just scored that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Veg! Oh my Veg. god! Oh my god! Veg, oh no. my god! How does he save? No. How does he save that? <laughs> oh, Edison, you're joking me, mate! Oh, please, please! How has he not scored? Oh, that was a hat trick in the first half. No, I think I might have picked the worst centre back combo of all time. I should have had I seven agree. meal. <laughs> Literally, I, I mean, we're in, we are in literal dreamland right now. I, I don't know how we've done this. My Vegost has turned up. I can't believe it. <laughs> Are you literally just oh doing a God, twitch? Just, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> he just does some weird little touch finger. He just runs past the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. No, what, he's it's just... Look, sure, he's just doing friggin' merry-go-rounds or something. <laughs> I'm telling him to run that way. In order to track the run, he's like, hang on, just got to run over this way for a bit first. <laughs> I don't know. I truly... No, give me start. I didn't swap, no! What's he what doing? What's he... Why has he kicked it like that, though? He's got two legs. Why is Van Persie so fast? What is... <laughs> this... What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is happening right now? What is actually going on? How is Van Persie outpacing a Kanji? <laughs> He's got a shadow on him, Kerbs. I don't have anything on him. He's got 
don't know what's going on. <laughs> Why is Vegos <laughs> kicking it with us? Oh, and you just ran down the bloody pitch and scored again. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh, okay. No. Why did he not shoot? <laughs> Why is he trying to take it down with a piss shoot? <laughs> what a run. You sweatbag, Andy. I've got two brothers. Oh, come on. I'm losing 5 1 curbs. How is it not 5 2? <laughs> How are you going through one goal immediately? <laughs> What's wrong with my players? Kudos. It's 6. <laughs> he counter attacked it. What is going on? <laughs> Mate, what is happening? So your sweat ends a bit in the post and I go and immediately score. This game. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, my um, God. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Don't oh play on side, you idiot. Oh, it's Kudos. It's... Oh, oh it's I, I, don't like, I, don't, I really don't it's like seven. that number. <laughs> I really stop <laughs> I don't like that. I really don't, I don't like this number. <laughs> I need to score again now, so I don't, I don't finish on this. I don't like this number at all. <laughs> Get me away from it, please. It's all in my master plan, Kevs. I just wanted seven. No. Oh, God. No. Hello, can I have some players play? Okay. Well, I would have loved it if I would have been able to uh, swap player there, but I didn't, so fun. Oh my god, no, Yaya, can you stop playing sick now? No! Okay. This is what should have been happening the whole game. <laughs> I don't it understand it. No! Yes, Ramsdale! You king! No, Ramsdale, you donkey! Oh, Andy! Kudos! Oh, I saved it! Oh, no. Oh, God. Sorry. How, how the bloody hell has that gone in? We're in. Ref! Good strength. Oh, ref, no! I've touched it forward and he's absolutely killed me! No, it's not. Oh, my God. Oh, God. You're joking me. I'm a vet. That's all come from a foul as well. What do you mean that's all come from a foul? All of your goals came from me in the post. <laughs> what? No. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> Why is going to Discord? <laughs> I've greened him in everything, man. How many times are we at the post? Oh my god, that was that, that was horrific. That was horrific. Oh my god, I never. Ah! If I had centre backs. Same. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you can certainly tell when my bronze players were just dead and they can't move anymore. But I had a lot of fun. I think I had the post three times and twice you ran up the other end of the pitch and just immediately scored. <laughs> <laughs> and the last time he blew the whistle before I could get the rebound. I mean, if it helps, mate, Kudas got two goals, three assists. Vegor's I mean, got two goals. Van Persie got three goals and three assists. Oh, they had a great game, mate. I don't think my Luke Shaw was playing. <laughs> my Luke Shaw was unbelievable, I've got to say, to be fair. But oh, It could have been 7-6 and you've only been able to hit one of my good players. Now you've got two. It should have been... What's Vegor? Just score, bro. <laughs> He did all right for you in the end, to be fair. Yeah, honestly, actually, it felt like everything. at one point, the game was just like, actually, go on, Andy, your players can play. <laughs> and Yaya Torre remembered yeah. how to control the ball and that, and I was just like... Oh. Yeah, in that last 20 minutes, Yaya was just like, yeah, yeah, don't mind me, I'm just going to run through you like it's nothing. Oh, go on, oh, Kev, dear. Give me the first discard first. Okay, uh, what formation did you end up in? 4-3-3. Four, 4-3-3, three, three. Four, three, three. okay. Let, let me go to the 4-3-3 three, three on my thing. Let's try and envisage where Andy's going to put some stuff. The first position I'm going to choose, mate, is right uh, centre mid. Okay, so that's what we would have got if that green timed, <laughs> no pressure, last yep. minute, 90th minute scripting, shot in the box by 88 rated Vegost would have gone in. However, it hit yes. the post. So you've got another discard, Kevs. And what position would that be? I am going to go left, center, mid. Oh, we've got a waiver anyway. That's absolutely fine. The second one was Luke Shaw. 
absolute clown deserve this garden anyway. And you, do, you got no <laughs> ones to watch Kessie or I can't get back. But at this point of the game, I don't really mind. He's probably going to get a special card at some point that he doesn't deserve, but he'll just get anyway. But, oh, where was Vegos then? Actually, don't tell me. If I would have won 7-0, I would have let you keep <laughs> the, the front three. Sorry, mate, I'm that Man United. <laughs> well, you are actually, because you've conceded seven this game. So... <laughs> You just let me keep the uh, front three, did you say? I'd let you keep the front three and the left back. So you wouldn't have got Vegos, to Kanji, Edison, or DePaul, but you would have got to Pai and Yaya. Jesus. But in, for Alash, you got Kessie and Luke Shaw? I did, mate. Well, pop them into an SBC, mate, and happy days. There we are then, Kebs. Not really anything lost, to be honest with you, other than my dignity. <laughs> True. Now you know how it feels to concede seven in, uh, in one sitting as well, doesn't it, mate? Yeah. So... Great fun. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out the episode we've done over on Andy's channel as well. Again, another absolutely unbelievable episode over there. And uh, until the next Squad of the Showdown, myself and Andy, we'll catch you guys in the next one.